everyone i hope you all are doing well so now in this particular video we were, we are trying to continue our machine learning playlist where now we will talk about overfitting versus underfitting i hope you all remember that linear regression concept right that we have covered up in our previous videos now i'll try to take that basic example from linear regression model and uh, with respect to that only we will try to understand that what is the meaning of overfitting and what is the meaning of underfitting so let's go to the blackboard and we'll try to understand the concept behind overfitting versus underfitting now before jumping towards the concept behind overfitting versus underfitting let's try to uh, have new term called as bias and variance understanding first right one is bias another one is variance and afterwards i will continue with respect to the overfitting and underfitting part see bias as well as variance they both are the errors or you can say they both are the error rates now with respect to what is something which we have to understand in this session whenever i am talking about bias bias is a error rate in the training data so we are trying to uh, calculate that what is the error we are getting with respect to training our model now whenever we are saying that the bias is very high so whenever you will listen this term that there is a high bias in my model the simple meaning is that in the training itself the error rate is too much and at what point of time it usually happens it might be the case that uh, you know your model is not able to learn it properly your model is having maybe small set of data points and that may be the major cause that it is not able to you know understand the uh, model properly by saying that your model is not able to understand the data points properly what is that meaning with reference to the linear regression because now i have covered up this particular model with a, with its mathematical intuition i believe i can take this example we have understood that you know in linear regression whenever we are saying that we are training our data we are training our model with respect to the linear regression it means that we are trying to generalize this line right y is equals to mx plus c this is y cap the prediction that we want to do means we are trying to calculate that value of m and c which will generalized for all the data points that we have this is the similar kind of pattern that you will observe for all the models what we want is we want to generalize the variables that line in case of linear regression which will be suitable for all the data points whether it be a trained data or whether it be a test data now when you are saying that your bias is very high it simply means that on the training data itself it is not able to properly train up maybe due to the lack of data points that you have or maybe due to some other uh, some other reasons right okay i hope that you will be able to get an idea what is bias i am referring here when i am saying variance again this is also a part of a error rate but when i am saying variance it is the difference between the difference between the error that i am getting on the training data versus i am getting on the test data training data versus i am getting the error on the test data that's why it is called variance how much my error rate is varied with respect to training and the test data now when you are saying that the variance is very high it simply indicates that it might be the case that when you are training your model your accuracy will be very great but at the time of the testing your accuracy drops down very instantly in that scenario you will say that the variance is very high variance for my model is very high the simple reason may be in variance case that it might be the case that it is learning the too much complex features as well so in case of variance it might be the case that your model is learning too much complex features or i would say noisy data points 
which is actually causing a trouble, which is actually the main issue behind having a high variance. As an ideal model scenario, as an ideal model scenario, whenever we are training a model, what we really want is, obviously we want a very low error rate. By saying that, what I want is, I want a low bias, means low error rate in terms of training data, as well as low variance, because only low error in terms of training data will also not help to me, right? If the test data is very high at the time of deployment, well, what, what I will do with the help of a low bias, right? What I want is, I really want low bias versus the low variance. But sometimes there is a trade-off between the uh, bias and the variance. And that's where the origin of the concept of overfitting and underfitting came into picture. Whenever you are saying that my model is underfitted, whenever you are saying that your model is underfitted, underfitting problem indicates that your model is having low bias, sorry, your model is having high bias and low variance and low variance. I hope you now you will be able to understand by writing these terms. If I will initially write these terms, obviously you will not able to get the point which I want to explain here. When I'm talking about overfitting, the thing which has happened is completely opposite, meaning that you will be having very high variance and low bias. And as I told you, we really don't want anything to be very high. We, what we want as an ideal case, low, low bias as well as low variance, right? Now, let's try to understand both of these scenarios that how will it, will it happen and what's the major cause. For example, in a linear regression, we have seen that we are trying to find out the best fit line, right? Now, if suppose your, your uh, data points are like in this way, in this manner, okay? In this way. And there is another dot which is like this. Now, if suppose you are trying to uh, find a line and your line is like this, it will be able to get. Something like very much apt. The way it is forming up, all the yellow dots are at the left side and all the orange dots are at the right side. Whatever be the complex features you are trying to give, in that case it is, you know, giving you the exact shape. If that is your target, it means you are trying to overfit your model. For example, if I will, if I will give you this kind of a shape as well, you are saying that, you know, your model is basically able to make that. All the yellow points are below this and all the orange points are above this. So that is something which is a trouble for the overfitting problem. Now, why I'm saying so? Just try to understand that, okay, whatsoever data points are given to me, these are the training data points, right? And in this training data points, my model is fitted very aptly. Perfect. Good job. In this case, obviously, my training data uh, will not give me that much high error. That's why if you remember, I told you that here we will be having a low bias. Low bias meaning that on the training set, we will be having a very low error rate. Accuracy will be very great. But obviously when new data point will come into picture, because of this high huge complexity of my line, that, that, that itself is not a line, right? The complex model which I have created, that generalized equation which I have created, that will form a trouble. And I will not able to get a apt result for that. What is the error in linear regression we have understood? The difference, whenever we are talking about error rate in linear regression, we all know. This is something that we all know is the difference between what is the actual value minus what is the predicted value or vice versa, right? So basically, we want to reduce this error rate. And now what will happen because of understanding the too much noisy points, the complex uh, data points in the uh, given data set, my model is overfitted, which is not a good thing at all, right? Now, talking about underfitting. Underfitting meaning 
in the training data itself my model is not able to generalize the line itself right my model is not able to understand the data points maybe uh, due to the lack of data that i have it means that in the training itself i am getting a huge amount of error that's why what i have said here that we will be having high bias high bias meaning that in the training itself my error rate is very very high now the the issue is that in both of these cases which is not desirable whether it's overfitting whether it's underfitting maybe we will be able to you know get the better results if we will add more data points that's for sure can happen if suppose that's after adding the data points as well we will not able to get the optimal results then how can we avoid these problems how can we you know reduce maybe first of all let's talk about overfitting so there are few techniques that we will study in the next upcoming sessions which will be the lasso and ridge regression now these are the regularization techniques that we have right regularization techniques that we have one way is definitely maybe we if we will add more data points might be we, our issue will get resolved but that's not a certain point that's not a certainty maybe uh, there is a concept of dropouts in deep neural networks where after adding the dropout layers we will be able to achieve the reduction of the overfitting problem now in our next upcoming session of machine learning our major focus is in the very first spot is to talk about the concept of this lasso and ridge regression the major prerequisite to understand this particular regularization techniques is to have a very good idea behind the linear regression concepts and its mathematical intuition because i will use the same equation which i have used there in order to make you guys understand the concept of lasso as well as ridge regression and this is one of the mostly vastly asked interview based question as well although the thing that we have covered up in today's session is also one of the vastly asked question that what is bias what is variance uh, what is bias variance trade off there the concept of overfitting and underfitting will come into picture trade off meaning whenever this word trade off will come into picture it means that one thing is going up another thing is going low another thing is going up uh, sorry low and then automatically one thing is going up so there is a trade off right but what we want as an ideal case we want both to be low we want low error rate in the training data as well as in the test data in a simple words so cutting the long story short what we have understood in the in this particular session we have majorly talked about what is overfitting and what is underfitting for that firstly we have understood the concept of bias and variance and afterwards we have talked about the difference between the overfitting and underfitting with this let's end this video and i'll try to come up with another video where now we will talk about the like regularization methods and i hope now you get to know that why we are studying those methods with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone make sure to hit like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next upcoming videos